What is going on everybody? Welcome back to RC Car Garage. I know it has been a while since I made a video. Uh, but hopefully you guys saw on my Instagram a couple pictures that I posted up. On my Instagram. Uh, and if you had it, check me out on Instagram, RC Car Garage. Uh, so, unfortunately, I haven't been able to make videos just for the main fact of life, okay? I have wife, daughter, and a whole bunch of stuff, especially now with Halloween coming up. Um, just been a whole bunch of stuff going on. So, I have not been able to do as or make, I'm sorry, as many videos as I would have liked to. But, I have been doing stuff in the background that I haven't posted any videos of. Um, and again, if you guys have seen my Instagram, I was doing a project that was way long overdue, <laughs> which was this guy. I gotta put it on the floor because it's so big. So I have been working on this guy um, in the background. As you guys can tell, hopefully you guys were able to tell in the pictures and on my Instagram if you saw it. But this guy got a new paint job. Redid all the paint on it, as you guys can see on here. Um, and I also, I'm going to put this guy down right here. I also did a couple other things to it that you guys will be a little surprised about. Even I was surprised about it. So without further ado, let's go outside. Let's go see this thing in action. See you guys in a bit. Thank you. 
not want this thing to flip. Ooh, that's bad.
So I don't know if you guys have noticed. <laughs> I don't want this thing to flip. guys that just happened <laughs> um I, I don't even know what to say um let, let, let's let's go back to my office and figure this out. I don't know. All right. So uh, yeah. <laughs> Hopefully you guys enjoyed that little run that I did with it. Um, literally just came right back into my office with this thing. <sighs> Got a little disappointed, guys. A little disappointed. So, what actually happened? Let's go over what happened with it. So, this guy came off. So, I got this piece right here and this shaft from Locked Up RC. Um, it has nothing to do with what they did. I really don't know what happened. Uh, basically, actually, I do know what happened. So basically, if you guys can see 
right here and on the opposite side. So there's two holes there, which this screws onto the rear axle. It's hard a dirt bike. So this goes, it's just, it's just so big. God, I can't even put it on my table, <laughs> on my desk here. So it connects right here. Um, there's actually a screw that goes on back here and one on the other side there. So those screws came out. Uh, I do believe that they are HPI screws. Um, I think in the instructions it just said to reuse the HPI screws. So I think I have some more screws. I have a little box of screws here that I should be able to find two more screws, put it back in here, and this thing will be good to go again. Uh, the other thing that I wanted to show you guys was, so I do have a light kit in this thing. For some odd reason, the light kit's not working, but it was working the other day. But it's not working now. Why? I don't know. I'll have to figure that out. The other thing is, yeah, you guys heard it right. This thing has a sound system in it. <laughs> so I took some time, and like I said, I did this thing right. I uh, put a light, si uh, a light system. I put a sound system in this thing. Uh, just local thrift store, found a Bluetooth uh, speaker, speakers, this little box, it's whatever. So I found a Bluetooth speaker, basically hacked that up, took the guts out of it and uh, the speakers out of it. And with this Hummer, it had come originally with speakers in it, which were literally like these, just these rings that had a light in it. And the main speaker that hopefully you guys saw in the video, well, that one right there, it just had the one speaker. What I wound up doing is it has the one big one, that one right here, another one over here, and two more right about there. So in total, it has five speakers. All right. <laughs> so in total, this thing has five speakers. Uh, what I wound up doing, let me flip this guy upside down and bring you guys over. Actually, I could probably just put it standing up like so. All right, there we go. All right, so here she is in all her glory. Her bottom end. Nice and tall. This thing is tall, guys. It's very tall. It, it, it's big. It's big. Is it the size of the SCX6? I'm not sure. I would like to com not compare it, but side by side, see how big it is against an SCX6. Um, so anyway, here's the, what happened there, what I wound up doing, but that's not what we're talking about. So what I wound up doing is right there, that speak with that speaker, I'm sorry. So this battery controls that gray box right there. That gray box is what turns on and off the speakers. That little white thing right there that you see inside there like down a little bit further these are speaker wires so the speakers connect to that it all gets controlled from there so that right there is the on off switch which if I can get to it yeah it's a little hard to get to so basically I gotta just get my finger and I, I can see it right there so get my finger right there there you go I heard that there you go blue light comes on that is on I decided I could have taken off that blue light but I decided to leave it on just to make sure that that the Bluetooth would be on um, I am running a 2s lipo battery on it 27 turn axial brushed motor um, again, I do have a light kit. This wire right here is actually for the light kit. Uh, you might, guys might not be able to see it, but that green box right there, right in there, that box, it are actually, that's not a box. It's actually batteries that controls the lights. 
So the lights are on its own dedicated um, battery source. I did not want to run it off of the LiPo. I wanted to run it separate from the LiPo. So what I also did here, grabbed some uh, poly, whatever this is called, this white stuff, uh, polystyrene. Uh, grab some polystyrene, covered up all this down here. As you guys can see, it's all covered up. Um, I guess, I don't know, I just decided to cover it up and whatnot. Am I thinking about painting that? No, I'm going to leave it the way it, that is. So there we have it, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. Um, yeah, I put some work into this thing. <laughs> So I have been doing this on my uh, off times, times that I'm able to do stuff, which is 8 o'clock at night to whenever. Uh, then, of course, I have work the next day. So, But there we have it, guys. This I will be able, I will once I get this fixed. <laughs> Because I have screws, I'll be able to get that fixed. So once I get this fixed, I should be able to take this, and the weather holds up. Um, I'll be able to take this out on the trails. See how it does. I mean, I don't think, it was just in my backyard, well, behind my backyard. I don't think it did too bad. Um, I think it did pretty good. But, I do want to take it out on the trails. Uh, bumping that sound system that's in here, and... Just having a good time out on the trails, man. And I hope that it's going to work out, <laughs> realistically. So I do thank you guys for sticking with me, even though I haven't made a video uh, lately. Thank you for sticking around. Hopefully, you guys will continue. Um, put the word out, RC Car Garage. And um, I have another project that's going to be coming out. <clears throat> that I'm going to be working on over the winter. Uh, so you guys stay tuned for that. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Please hit that like button. Subscribe. You all have a good one. And keep our seeing.